this guy has a lot of aura, but that guy doesn't. And I'll tell you exactly how he started gaining all of that aura and how I started gaining some aura in my own life. The first thing you notice about this skateboard man, which I'm gonna call him from now on, is he's on a skateboard in the night. And what you notice about this other kid is that he doesn't look like he's used to this. I mean, the skateboard man zooms right past him like it's another Tuesday, and this kid loses it. He's lost, he doesn't know what to do. It doesn't help that he's on his phone too. But what I realized from this was to not overthink. Skateboard man is doing his thing, doesn't really care about what happens. He sees this little Elriz aura person and he just zooms right past him. By the way, if you don't know already, this video is kind of a joke, but it also has some meaning and value in it. If you like the vibe of this video, my name's Timothy, I'm 16. I'm just trying to share some cool things that I've been learning and hopefully you can think about something that I say and actually get better from it. But this kid just doesn't know what to do. Should I get off my phone? Should I pull my pants up, bro? Like, what is this? This guy's cooked. Something strong between the two skateboard man and the kid is that the skateboard man was confident. He didn't care that he was in his way. He probably wouldn't even care if he bumped into him. But you know who would have cared? Who would have overthought about it and wasn't sure what to do? The phone guy. The phone kid. You have to have conviction in yourself and what you do. This is what I learned from going on so many sales calls is you have to not overthink it just call the guy or don't be afraid and have conviction in what you're selling that's when i got the most sales i got the most stuff done and i felt the best about my life if the skateboard man didn't have confidence he wouldn't even be on the skateboard think about that he would have just been walking he wouldn't have the confidence or conviction to actually just be himself so not only would he lose a hobby that he likes doing lose this funny clip but lose a ton of aura so be confident with what you like what you believe but be ready to defend that whether in high pressure scenarios like there's some little kid in your way this will give yourself a lot of respect but also have others respect you which will give you a lot more aura in doing that another way to get a ton of aura is talking with people you'll get the confidence you'll stop overthinking and if you could stake with what you believe or value in those conversations while talking to people you'll make a ton of more friends you'll feel a lot better so if you also want a way you can talk to hundreds of people for free and challenge yourself join that like-minded club in the description it's completely free hundreds of people are in there i'm in there too and we're all aura boosting and stuff like that so it's a pretty fun place so moving on to what the kid should have done the guy who freaking got pantsed without anyone even touching him bro thing I realized from that was to treat everyone the same way. You think that kid would have been scared out of his mind and lost his pants in the process if he just saw another casual pedestrian on his phone? He probably wouldn't have been that crazy and lost so much aura points from that. So treat everyone the same. Don't be so hype if you see some celebrity or poop your pants from seeing a cool skateboarder. It doesn't do you any well. The celebrities don't like it when you're freaking out. They respect you if you are calm about it because you're acting like it's not a big deal to see them, which it isn't honestly, it's just another human being. So stop putting people on pedestals, thinking everyone's crazy. Value yourself, but not in an egotistical way, just so you can get around having confidence in yourself. The kid also should have had some composure. When I was playing football for my school, or some people would call it soccer, I play midfield, but the second, the second I go on striker, I sub in for a striker. I only play for five minutes as striker, but I make those five minutes count. I'm pressuring the ball, I'm being confident, I'm using my aura skills to my advantage. I get the ball, take a shot, it bounces off the goalie, keep my composure as the fifth thing I do. And in those five minutes, I made those five things count the most. So the ball bounces back to me, I bury it in the top left, and I score a goal. I saved the game because it was 2-1, I scored the final goal. I kept my composure, calma, calma. So I got some goals for the season and I'm signing up for the next soccer season which is about to happen, summer's almost about to be done. So yeah, I'll let you know how the next season goes when I get there. Another thing which helped me a ton and could have helped that kid that got pantsed by himself was creating something. 
talking to you right now helped me a lot with getting more confident. Literally practicing talking to people, you. If you would be interested in growing a YouTube channel, along with getting cooler experiences, getting more confident, all of those benefits to also boost your aura. If you'd be interested in that, click that Calendly link in the description. Book a quick call with me to see if I can help you get to 1,000 subs, 10K subs, and have a blast while doing it. Daily experiences also help me a lot. I talked about it a ton in my other videos, but basically trying a bunch of new things, big or small, which will give your days more variety. So that skateboarder guy went skateboarding, went to a different place, saw this cool freaking kid and literally pants the bro. I can't believe, like I don't even care if that video is fake or not, like how do you let that happen bro? But yeah, try daily little challenges, go somewhere you've never been before, try something new, try skateboarding bro, that definitely boost your aura, unless you fall in front of everyone, but it's fine, it happens. Also with the aura thing, like don't, if you do lose some aura, don't care about it. If you get pantsed and you start uh, making a scene about it like that kid did, you're gonna lose even more aura and then you can't come back from that. Another reason why I think my aura was so high, but I'm not trying to be like, oh, I, I'm aura. Like, I'm not even at that level of the skateboarder guy, bro. That is crazy. But a reason why I think it was high, not the highest, was because I never got megged in football or soccer. But during one football practice, when someone finally megged me, instead of being shocked about it like that kid would have been, instead of pulling down my pants, I just ran for the ball and got the ball back, actually. So, yeah, I lost some aura, but I recovered it. We won that little scrimmage thing we did in practice, so I definitely got some aura back from that. So take that as a little note, too. If you make a mistake, you fall down, don't stay there. Get back up. Hustle back. Make it up. Do something else to get those aura points back. All right, if you made it this far into the video, I'm giving away some aura points. So all you got to do, like this video, share it with one friend and comment 69 times in the comment section and one of those comments have to have something about aura if you do that you'll enter my aura giveaway I'm giving away ten thousand dollars worth of aura okay but seriously i'm gonna personally give you some aura just so you can use that as motivation to crush it do some other things try one of these things think of what you can do to get more confidence to stop overthinking as much Go on these daily experiences because they'll give you a lot of those things to also give you more aura. You might lose some aura at the beginning, but in the long term, you'll gain it all back 10 times fold. Then you'll be as secure as that skateboarder man who absolutely just destroys anyone he sees. This video is pretty fun to make, but also has some truth in it. If you like this video, consider subscribing, actually comment, like this video. Share this video with someone who needs some aura points. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can think about this video. Consider subscribing. That's all I gotta say, man. Honestly, stay calm, be confident, and you're gonna crush it, man. You will. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hopefully, we can talk again some other time. So, peace. Goodbye.